Oh man! Yeah! Kuroko's basketball is back, ladies and gentlemen, with the season three! Season three! Yeah! <laughs> season three is here. I am on board. You are on board automatically because we love Kroko's basketball. We love the epicness of Aumine. We love the shots of the wondrous Mirima. The glory that is Akashi Sejiro. We will bask in his magnificence, the true god of the multiverse. Ladies and gentlemen, Akashi fucking Sejiro is in, and therefore we are in. Ah, oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. So, this episode basically is like a recap of like everything. Well, not everything, but like a lot of key points of season two. And then it, then we go on to like this whole introduction of a very prominent, well not prominent, but a very important character at this point in time who is Shobo Haizaki, I think his name is. And he was a former member of the Takeo Middle School Basketball Club. However, he was taken, he was kicked off the team because of his bad behavior. And you can see him. In middle school, he had like silver hair, looking pretty damn evil. And by the way, his voice actor is Ichigo. I, kind of, I find it kind of funny, but whatever. And then we go from that to high school, where he has black hair and cornrows. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, like, oh, one hell of a transition over here. So this guy is like a bonafide thug, and he has no care in the world for basketball. He's just here to try and, you know, bring the gen a few pegs down. Which, we'll have to wait and see about that, because Kisei right now, he's, you know, Kisei, he's in the groove. Now, granted, he does have that injury, and you can see him in the middle of his warm-up. His leg's a little bit shaky, so he's still injured from the inner high days back against Almine. But... Overall, we can safely say that this is going to be a very good match between Kisei and his, I guess, maybe his senpai. Because I think he's a year older. I'm pretty sure he's a year older. Either way. Um, Haizaki. Now, that being said, it was pretty cool seeing the old stuff. You know, just a nice refresher. Seeing the zone match between... Kagami Taiga and Aumine, the wondrous Daiki. And just the dribbling and and just how crisp and smooth. I mean, seriously, that is some of the best animation I've ever seen in a sports anime. That particular match between Kagami and Aumine in the zone, dribbling past each other. Kagami trying to dunk, and then you have Aumine like, no, fuck that shit. Then Aumine's like, point that one guy in toes, like, throw the ball. He grabs the ball, dribble, dribble, dribble. Peg, fuck that. I'm, that, that beautiful. Beautiful. And throughout this interview, because they're being interviewed because they, they just beat uh, Yoshin, you have, obviously, they're kind of stiff right now because it's they're being interviewed by these news folk, by these reporters. And a little bit embarrassing because Team Satan is a team that was created like a year ago. So they're a fresh team. They're young bucks. And to have an interview for a team... That is so small in the grand scheme of things. Meaning that in the history of high school basketball, they're being interviewed like, whoa, like that's a pretty damn big deal. So, and the fact that their coach is also a high school student. So, it was pretty cool seeing that. And what was also pretty cool is seeing how you have Kagami and Kuroko pretty much, for the most part, still in sync. I mean, they've always been in sync, but now they're really in sync because they just beat Yosin. And he explains how we're just, Kagami and uh, Kuroko say the same thing pretty much. We pretty much give our all on our games. So we can't really gauge which game is the best game because we're always giving 100%. And that's pretty cool. So, you know, the light and the shadow concept still being pushed through and through. And you have, like, Aumine listening in at some point. <laughs> you have Midorima walking with Takao at some point also, uh, also like, listening in. Because they had a draw with the uh, Shutoku. Because, you know, people want to disrespect me to Rima. People want to disrespect me to Rima. How the fuck are you? George here. Fuck you, son. Fuck you. Stop trying to disrespect me to Rima. The magnificent, the wonderful, the amazing me to Rima. But behind him is the shadow of a very powerful individual. Fucking Sage. 
Sage and his fucking boys the Rockies on. My god. <laughs> My god. So that is gonna be one of the match when we're gonna see it obviously. And I do gotta say, you know, seeing that there's still Kuroko's trying to mend the issues that are between Tatsuya and Kagami, which I did like a lot. Because Kuroko again like Kuroko to Kagami specifically, he's more than just a team. I mean, granted, in this sense, they're all like one family. But Kuroko, he's something more. He's something special to Kagami. And because without Kuroko, Kagami wouldn't be this good of a player, like, to be quite honest with you. And like, that's just the way it is. Kuroko, he's just that person you need in your life, pretty much. And I got to say, when it came to... Him having the ring, and he's like, when you, like, you gotta go talk to Tatsuya right now. I mean, even though it was, in, you know, obviously, there was interference via Haizaki, that, that, you know, thug. And surprise, surprise, oh, he's a thug and he's not a black. Oh, my God, hey, look at that. So, either way, point, <laughs> point here is this. It was cool seeing the level of support that Kuroko gives Kagami on a regular basis. Even when Kagami believes either that he doesn't need it. That's pretty cool to me. So, to wrap this video up, because the episode is very simple, when it comes from a story standpoint, a pacing standpoint, an animation standpoint, can't really make that many deductions or inferences because of the fact that it's mainly recap of Season 2 via interview, and there is character introduction of the team that's going up against Kaijo and Kisei, and mainly the character Haizaki or Haisaki, I forgot his name exactly. I think it's. I, I'm gonna go with Haizaki because it sounds cooler. Whatever. Thing here is that we can assume that when it comes to the game between Kaijo and I think the school name is Fuduka Shogo, uh, the, the school that Haizaki's a part of, his basketball team. We can assume that their gameplay is going to be similar, if not even rougher, than that of... I think their name is uh, Kirisaki Daiichi, the, the team that uh, that the team that, uh, Hanamiya led. Hanamiya Makoto. And the reason why I say that is because of the fact that when you look at Hayazaki outside of the court, again, he's a thug, he doesn't care at all for the game, and because he's that way outside of the court... You can expect very rough gameplay inside the court, because or on the court, because someone like Hanamiya, who had very little care of the game and actually was there mainly for like sadistic entertainment, him and his boys, <sighs> vicious, absolutely. I mean, yo, freaking Kiyoshi got beat up so bad in that game. I mean, this guy would try to get a rebound, and you have. Hanami's boys, elbows, elbows, oh, foot stop, oh, my bad, bro, my bad, dude, my bad, fall down, face, oh, my bad, bro, my bad, my bad, and, I mean, at one point, one of the dudes pulls the Shawn Michaels, like, fuck, yeah, I'm like, damn, I mean, just vicious, but, uh, when it comes to the love of the game, Hanami had some, like, Hanami, there was some conflict there, when it comes to Hayazaki, there's none. He, he's just here to simply bring the gen a few pegs to embarrass them live on television across the world. I mean, well, across the nation. So, you, we can expect some very rough shit to happen. At least that's what we're expecting at this point in time. I'm not going to spoil it for you because I have read the manga, but at the end of the day, we can just assume that based on personality. So, overall, that's it. I am stoked, I am here, but overall the episode is going to be an okay plus, because, again, with the exception of the character introduction of Haizaki, honestly, the rest of it is... I mean, I did like the fact that you have some character development with Kuroko and Kagami in the ring, and how you and your Kyodai, your brother, Tatsuya, do some stupid shit right here, but, but that wasn't really like, you know... It wasn't enough. It wasn't as impactful. It wasn't as deep as our, you know, penetration. It wasn't that much when it came to the grand story of the series, especially considering the fact that there has been some time since the since the end of season two. So overall, the episode is gonna be okay. Plus, and I'll see you guys and guys later.
King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week for the second episode review of Season 3 of the Crocus Basketball. Rate the video, comment, subscribe, have a nice damn day. Yeah! Doo, doo, doo.